What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Man, what's good? So look, sorry yesterday, took a break as far as content. I, mean, I always apologize to y'all when I don't give y'all content because I just feel like I'm not doing my job. Now, today I do got an early review for y'all, but today is the day that the movie Air comes out. And let me know if y'all seen it. I want to say my boy uh, JT said he already seen it. I know Candyman said he already seen it. So if y'all have seen the movie Air, let me know if it was a good movie. I do plan on checking it out. They got a couple theaters around me that is showing it. So I do plan on checking it out sometime soon. Now, that's the movie Air. It's a couple other things that I want to talk about, Army, but I'm probably going to go over all of that stuff in the video later on. I want to go ahead and talk about something that we could do. Now, I do got a couple pairs of the Air Jordan 4 Thunders that I want to go ahead and run on whatnot. Along with, I got some pairs of these joints, and these are the joints that we are seeing today. Now, Army, as far as these, I want to say big boys, I tried to look out as much as possible. So like 12, 13, 14, 15, I got, um, of course, you know, the normal dunk, some Yeezy, some other Air Jordan Army. I still got a lot of bangers that I want to run. And, you know, still got merch, $40 hoodies, $35 hoodies. So if y'all do Army, just make sure y'all bookmarking the whatnot live stream. And I mean, as soon as we get like 500, 600 bookmarks Army, I'll go ahead and run it. Or I could just sporadically run it. So just make sure that y'all are you know, bookmarking the whatnot live stream so that way I do know that y'all do want to go live on them joints. But I got the Air Jordan 6 Tourors. Let's go ahead and check them out. Leveries Air Jordan 6 Retro with Varsity Red Black. This is a size 8 in men. And we got the Air Jordan 6 Tourors or the Air Jordan 6 Raging Bulls, man. And just off the jump, the quality on these is pretty much similar to the Air Jordan 5 Raging Boys. Now, I'm going to pull those out in a second, man. But, of course, got to check these out. We got the speckled paper inside the box right here. All red box, black jump, man. We know that Jordan brand has been trying to give us these different boxes. I remember at one point in time, I was like, man, I can't wait for a new year for us to get a new box. But we've been getting so many different boxes now, man, and I've been enjoying the Army. So, Air Jordan 6. Tourors. Now, when we got news that the Raging Bulls were coming out years ago, where the Raging Bulls come out? When the Raging Bulls dropped in 2021, we first heard news these joints went crazy. And I was honestly surprised to see these joints end up in outlets. I was. That the Air Jordan 6 Tourors I dropped in Army. How do y'all feel about these? Like, I've been saying this year all along. I'm like, man, certain shoes are necessary and certain shoes are unnecessary. And... Speaking of 2014, I think it was either 2014 or 2013, we got these. The Air Jordan 6 Infrared 23. Now, I want to say that this was the original mock-up of this shoe back in 2014, but we ended up getting these. Now, I went crazy for these joints, and this was a leather red. I honestly like the suede red better, but I just feel like, again, this is a time that has already passed with Jordan Brand. And seeing how the Raging Bulls didn't do as hot as Jordan Brand honestly expected it to, I'm surprised that they still dropped these. Like, literally, they almost mocked the colorway. You got the red laces, you got the red suede, you got the red shark teeth on the Retro 5, and then you even got the red hits right here on the midsole for the Air Jordan 6 as well army so if you love the air jordan 5 raging bulls and you are an air jordan 6 fan i can 100 percent see you copping these now current release date on these joints right now is june 26 army so y'all getting a first look at these and again i think that these are clean but i just feel like this is past its time like jordan brand should just stop making all red air jordans because I don't want to say, man, it's hard to even say that because people still buy them. I just think for me, I just think all red Air Jordans is played out. And again, that's just my personal opinion. That's probably why I feel the way about the Air Jordan 11 win like 96s. I'm just like all red retro 11s. Like, that's why the win like 82s are better because it just got, it just, I don't know, maybe more of an OG feel to it. But anyways, Army, I'm going to go ahead and jump on the turntable, give you guys an up-close personal look at the Air Jordan 6 Tourors, and then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, got the box on the turntable. Again, we got the Air Jordan 6 Toro. You got the black, 
Jumpman, you got the red box. Check out the label. Label reads Air Jordan 6 Retro. Color is Varsity Red Black. Again, this is a size 8. Retail will be 200 and release date is June 24th. I want to say I said the 26th, but it's the 24th. And you do got the speckled paper in the box. Macking the joints on the turntable army. And I mean, when you look at them like this, these joints are kind of dope. Like, I don't know, man. I just... Bro, we just got the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls, man. So it's just like, I love sixes more. I absolutely do love sixes more, man. But I don't know. I, I just think, again, these have not necessarily come and gone, but these have already seen its time as far as all red Air Jordan. Check out the heel of the shoe. You got your red Jumpman Air right there. You got your red and black hits on the midsole. Also, you got a translucent outsole. Varsity Red Jumpman right there. Like, I'm really mad at the colorway. I feel like they could have had a little bit more hits of black in the upper. Like, all black laces are probably set to these joints out. I just think it's too much red. I'm glad that they went with the black elastic with the red Jumpman. You got your black lace lock with the red Jumpman as well. So, I think black laces would definitely make these joints pop. And I also think a black Jumpman in the back would have made these joints look a lot better as well, Army. But still, overall... I think the people who like this particular style, the red, the suede, the Air Jordan 6, I definitely think those would be the ones who eat it up. But again, I feel like you got a lot of people who would say, been there, done that. Now, since we do got suede on these joint arm and the entire shoe is suede, other than the men, so you got to 100% make sure you got that rejuvenated water and stain repellent. Spread six to eight inches away from the shoe. That way the water and stain repellent can soak on the entire upper of the shoe and it protects your shoe from any water, dirt, mud, sludge from damaging the sneakers. Now, it's multiple things I will highly recommend with this because, of course, water and stain repellent. But again, you got to make sure you get like that mink oil too because even though the red is vibrant right now, it will start to fade. So that mink oil that Rejuvenator has will keep the colors nice and vibrant. And that way, you know, you can preserve the shoe as long as possible. Armor. They also got the suede kit where it comes with the brush and the eraser that way you can get out any nicks or anything that can damage the suede arm rejuvenator got everything you need to protect these particular shoes so make sure you click that link in the description section below i got the link give you 10 percent off all rejuvenator product from the water stain repellent the mink oil the suede kit the sneaker solution, the sole protectors for those who like to keep their soles nice and icy. I'm giving you 10% off all of that stuff. You just got to click my link in the description section below. And that's about it on these. I do feel like, I want to say that these are not necessary, but I'm not saying that these ain't vote approved though. Cause like I can see myself actually throwing these joints on feet army. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these one more quick 360. Then I'm gonna jump in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Armin, now that you guys have seen the Air Jordan 6 Toros, how do you feel about these, man? Are these a necessary cop? Like, if you got the Raging Bulls, like, are you still going to grab these joints? Or do you like all red Jordan? Like, I could be in a minority with this. And some people may still like, you know, all red Jordans. But, I mean, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, y'all. This one for me, at least right now, is still tough. Like, again, you got the... It's basically the Raging Bulls. Like, they didn't put a black Jumpman on the back. They probably should have because that red, you really can't see it. But they probably should have threw a black Jumpman on the back. And as much as I love Retro 6s, I'm going to still say that the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls are better than these. And by me saying that and having these, I honestly would say, Army, that these are not necessary. But I don't know if they've all approved just yet, y'all. Do, do that make sense? Like, even if it's not necessary, does it not mean that I don't want to have them in a vault? Like, does that make sense? Or I'm making things too complicated, Arby? So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these joints in the comment section below. Let me know if these joints are a must cop for you. But you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stands strong, like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And, of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the users. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old tough, but he get amusing. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.